Hi and uh, hello everyone. This is your Dr. Bharat Kumar Bedi. Welcome to the YouTube uh, Weekly Pharmacology Series. And today we are discussing a very good life-saving drug. The name is called Adrenaline. So let us understand most important aspect of Adrenaline by the name itself. So let us start with the first one, the letter A. A means the drug is used in anaphylactic shock and for that it is a drug of choice. Again, remember A for antagonist. So Adrenaline is the physiological antagonist of histamine. The next letter is D. So whenever you think of adrenaline, you have to think of a phenomenon called Dale's phenomenon. Then come to the letter R. R receptors. Remember, it can act on all the receptors in simple system. That is alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1, beta 2. A very weak action on beta 3. One more important thing in R is roots. How do we give adrenaline? It can be given IM or subcutaneous. At that time, the dilution is 1 in 1000. We can give it by nebulization. Then also it is 1 in 1000. 1 in 10,000 dilution, we use it when we are giving IV, intraosseous, or we are giving endotracheal. Along with local anesthesia, we use in the dilution of 1 in 50,000 to 1 in 2 lakh. The next letter is E. So E is epinephrine. It is another name for adrenaline. The next letter is N. What does N stand for? It is not absorbed orally. N for not absorbed orally, if it will not cross blood-brain barrier. Thus, reason is simple. Since it's a catecholamine, it is metabolized by enzyme called COMPT. So it is not absorbed orally. It doesn't enter the brain. The next letter is A. So adrenal medulla is the one which secretes adrenaline more. The next letter is L. L stands for it lowers intraocular pressure. So we know that adrenaline acts on alpha 1 receptor. It causes vasoconstriction and decreases the aqueous humor production. Since adrenaline cannot cross the eye, we use a prodrug of it and that is called epinephrine, which is used in the management of glaucoma. Then the next two letters are I N. So let us consider I N as increase. So what does adrenaline increase? Adrenaline increases the risk of arrhythmia, the risk of stroke, and it can increase the BP also. Then the last one is E. Whenever you think of adrenaline, E for experiment in animals. So the experiment in animals are asked whenever there is adrenaline. So when we give high dose of adrenaline, there is rise in BP followed by fall in BP. The reason why rise in BP is because of alpha 1 action, why fall in BP is because of beta 2 action which is seen later. There is a phenomenon called Dale's phenomenon. What happens there, if you give alpha blocker then give high dose of adrenaline, you see only fall in BP. There is one more condition where we give beta blocker first and then give high dose of adrenaline. So since beta blockers are given, beta is blocked, you will see only rise in BP that is called vasomotor re reversal of Dale. We learned all the important aspect of adrenaline by the name itself. So the drug of the week is adrenaline. And if you found the video useful, kindly like it, share it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all. Take care.